This is episode 2173 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I welcome you to a brand new series we're exploring this week. And this is a series where you will explore peace on earth. This is in honor of the holidays that are celebrated at the end of the year, Hanukkah, Christmas, and we are getting ready to celebrate the brand new year. There are many other holidays and celebrations taking place, and I know many of you are feeling like this year you're not really sure about peace on earth. It seems there's so much uncertainty. We're going through a pandemic and wondering what is going to happen economically, politically, and there's a lot going on socially as well. So this is a week for you to feel a little more at peace with the world. You might have a lot of personal things happening your way as well. So this is your week to take a deep breath and to exhale and soothe your whole nervous system with peace. Throughout this week's series, each day you will discover a different meditation technique that you can do that day. Each technique is customized right along with the theme and it takes you a little more deeply into our series. You will also be challenged with a weekly challenge that I encourage you to do each day this week. This is a way for you to attune yourself with the theme. I know sometimes it can be hectic and you might not be able to meditate, especially this week. There's a lot going on this week with Christmas happening. So if you commit to doing the weekly challenge, doing it daily, then you will still be aligning yourself with this week's focus of peace on earth. So here is your challenge. Your challenge to go on a peace quest. This is a quest where you will try as hard as you might not to take things so personally this week with emotions running high with all that's happening and closing out this 2020 year you might feel a little on edge and one way to feel at peace with the world is not to take things so personally. So when you're experiencing stress, I encourage you to try this little test to see how you're doing with not taking things so personally. If you think about what you're going through and then you notice that you began your thoughts with I, such as, I can't believe this person said that, or I am so stressed, or I this, or I that. This is often an indication that you are maybe getting wrapped up in personalizing something. So try to depersonalize a situation by looking at the big picture or looking at the situation a little more neutrally. So if you're experiencing stress, you could think about this situation is a difficult situation. Maybe someone said something to you that struck you as being a little insensitive. So you could say to yourself about the person, that person probably didn't mean what they say, or it probably came out 
in a way that they didn't intend it to. So try to take the I out of the situation. This can be very helpful, especially if you're going to a lot of holiday or end of the year events or parties. So this is your challenge so that you can keep the peace and feel more at peace in the world. Let's hear from a fellow meditator as you get ready to settle yourself down to meditate. This is from Devashri from India and she says that she is so enjoying listening to the meditation podcast. She says, me being an Indian, totally loving the way you make us do the mudras and talk about the Dharma Chakra. I am looking forward to podcasts to relax the mind. So I want to say that the type of meditation I share with you, where I share the different techniques, is classical meditation. These techniques are over 5,000 years old. And if you're a Westerner, they may be new to you, but they're not new in many parts of the world, including India. And I had the chance to live in Asia for several years. And so during that time, I was able to study and experiment with many different kinds of the ancient arts and of course yoga and meditation really appealed to me as did the japanese tea ceremony and ikebana which is the flower arranging because they're very similar in philosophy to yoga and meditation i'm going to honor devashri's request She's looking forward to relaxing the mind, and that's what this week will be all about. If you'd like to reach out to me and share your journey or your thoughts on the podcast, please do so. You can send me a direct message on the SIP and OM, S I P A N D O M, Instagram, or you can also send an email to Mary at sipandohm.com. You can also leave a review. I'd love to hear from you. And those reviews really mean a lot to me. And I appreciate each time you let me know how you're enjoying the podcast. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss an episode. As you are calming your mind and your body, take a look at how your spine is. Make sure it's nice and straight. Your spine is referred to as your lifeline in yoga and meditation. It helps to keep you nice and alert, so keep it straight. And as you close your eyes, gently elevate them upward to the point between your eyebrows. This little tweak helps to uplift your thoughts as you meditate. Now I invite you to think about the kind of peace you need in your life. Maybe you need peace in a relationship or peace with your career choice or peace with your health or peace that all is well in the world. Have this peace in your life that you need so badly as your focus this week. Now I invite you to take a few moments, as long as feels right for you, to immerse yourself in a moment of peace from the past. 
recall a time recently or many years ago maybe when you felt a deep sense of peace and that all was well in the world immerse yourself in this moment feel yourself as though you're there continue with this for as long as you feel comfortable doing so relaxing your mind and your body you are so worth slowing down for